Hello everyone and welcome to this overview tutorial on Amazon Bedrock Data Automation or BDA. These are some reference URLs that I've mentioned over here. I would certainly recommend that you visit these URLs as they have additional information on this particular topic. I have also created a playlist for Amazon Bedrock on my channel. And as I create additional tutorials and hands-on labs, I will have them added to this particular playlist. Both the reference URLs and the URL to the playlist will be mentioned in the description of this video. So what is Bedrock Data Automation or BDA? It is a cloud-based service that simplifies the process of extracting valuable insights from unstructured content, such as documents, images, videos, and audio files. Now behind the scenes, BDA leverages Gen AI to automate the transformation of multimodal data into structured formats, enabling developers to build applications and automate complex workflows with greater speed and accuracy. It also provides an API-driven experience that allows you to process this multimodal content through a single interface. So it's a pretty straightforward service, nothing complicated. So let's continue further ahead and see how does BDA work. So we know that this particular service helps in auto-generation of valuable insights, which are essentially outputs from unstructured multimodal content to build Gen AI and other data-driven applications. By default, BDA provides two different types of outputs depending on your use case. Now, first is a standard output, and second is the custom output. Standard output is out of the box in which BDA will automatically identify and generate default insights relevant to the input data type. You can configure which insights you want to extract and have them persisted in your project configuration. So for this behind the scenes, BDA has a default inbuilt blueprint that it uses to generate these default insights. You can pick and choose, you know, what all insights or what all information you want to capture. It will do that and you are good to go. So this is the standard and out of the box output that is available. Let's say if you do not want to go ahead with that, then you can also go for the custom output. For the custom output, BDA, empowers you to create your own blueprint for fine-grained data extraction. It provides the flexibility to define and generate insights tailored to your needs. And most importantly, it enables transformation of these generated outputs into a specific format or a schema that is compatible with your downstream system, such as your databases or any other applications that are basically going to use these insights or these outputs. So remember right here, we have a picture and you can see that different form of inputs go inside. These are multimodal inputs and you could either get a standard output or a custom output, or if you want both, you can get both as well. Now, in order for you to work with BDA, what we need to do is we need to create a project. So creating this project is very important. So creating a project allows you to modify and organize your output configurations. Within each BDA project, you can configure the standard output, custom output, or both to extract information. A configuration setup design for use with Invoke Data Automation Sync API to instruct PDA on how to process these files. So this is typically what a project does as far as PDA is, is concerned. 
So in very simple words, you are telling BDA that, hey, this is what I want you to do. You are configuring the various inputs and the outputs that are required, whether you want a custom output, you want a standard output or both, whether you want it to be used with certain specific APIs, all of that is possible when you create your BDA project. So this is in very simple words, how BDA works. Now let us look at the benefits of this particular service. So first, of course, it accelerates time to market. It has industry leading accuracy at a lower cost, right? So there are other solutions in the market that does something very similar, but accuracy is the key. And of course, cost is always a concern. It has built-in hallucination mitigation and it supports multimodal data sources. And most importantly, it gives you API access for integration with other applications and other downstream systems. Let us look at some use cases. So the, of course, the first one that stands out is document processing. So BDA enables you to orchestrate complex unstructured documents and process them basically to classify them, to do some kind of data extraction, normalization, or maybe even just simple document validation. All of this is possible. You can also do some media analysis. Remember that it has it has the capability of taking in multimodal content. So you can give different kind of media, files like videos, audio files to generate summaries, to provide insights, to extract some specific content that is showcased or that is depicted or talked about in that particular media file. And it also helps you to build any kind of Gen AI assistance that can help to enhance performance of retrieval augmented generation or rag powered question answering applications by providing multimodality information. So let's say you could have a document, you could have an audio file, you could have a video which can support answering a specific question across all of these different types of inputs. Finally, let us go and look at the pricing of this particular service. So this is that particular link. And if you scroll down, you will see data automation right here. And depending on the region, this is the cost. So you have the region selected right now as US East North Virginia. And over here for data, for BDA, inference API for audio, it is 0 0.006 cents per minute. Then this is for documents right here. You have your images and your videos. So this is for the standard output. Let's say if you wanted to go for custom output, which also includes standard output, then for documents, it is 0 0.040 cents per page. And for images is 0 0.005 cents per image. And there are some examples at the bottom that basically explains to you how this pricing works. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Do post your comments, any questions. If you are new to my channel, do like and subscribe. And this is it from me today. I will see you shortly in some other video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.